Hey guys, welcome once again to our kitchen here, Sri Lines and Mali, bringing you another classic Guyanese recipe. Today we're going to be making the, a Christmas special. We're going to be doing a very popular dish at Christmas time in Guyana, and it's no other than garlic pork. So for this recipe here guys, we have about three and a half pounds of pork shoulder up there. We have four cups of vinegar, four teaspoons of salt. We have some weary weary pepper and some scotch bonnet there as well. You need about six to eight weary weary peppers here but you can also use scotch bonnets if you like. We have some thyme there. You're gonna need about three heads of garlic this size here. So it should be about a half pound of garlic. We have about four to six cloves and that's it for this garlic pork, delicious garlic pork recipe here my friends. So let's begin. Okay guys so what you want to do here is cut up your pork into little cubes here like this as I said you're gonna get the pork shoulder for this recipe that's what the garlic pork is usually made made with the pork shoulder so this here is a Portuguese dish my friends and it's usually had it for breakfast it's a breakfast dish especially on Christmas mornings many Guyanese families will have this for breakfast garlic pork and toast Okay guys, so after cutting up your pork here, you want to wash it out very thoroughly. As Molly is doing here, you're going to add some vinegar and some salt there. Okay guys, so after washing your pork, you want to lay them out on a paper towel here now. So for the next step, you want this to be dry as possible. So you're going to pat them dry with paper towel here. And you have to make sure that everything is clean when handling this here because it's not going to be cooked right away. It's going to be marinated. So you don't want this to go bad. So you're going to dry it off like that with your paper towel as much as possible. So after patting your pork dry, you're gonna bring in a process here now and this is rinsing. You're gonna have some vinegar in a bowl by itself here. This is not the one you're gonna be marinating in. Just some vinegar on the side. And you're gonna, you're gonna rinse your pork here. Uh, you wanna start using a tongue, something like that here now. You don't wanna touch this with your hands anymore. So you're gonna rinse this like Molly is doing here. We're gonna do this for all the rest of pieces. So we're gonna add all, all of our seasonings to this little blender here. She just added a thyme there as well. You usually would have to add a bit of water to get that going. I don't want to crush this too much. Okay guys, so this is how fine you want to blend this here. You don't want it to get this more fine than that. You want it a bit chunky like that. So we're going to have to do the garlic after now. So we're going to take that out. Okay guys, so we have finished rinsing out our pork in the vinegar wash and now we are ready to season this pork here. Now there are different ways you can do this. You can put a little pork in there, you can put a little seasoning, then a little more pork and then a little more of the seasoning or whatever. But you can also do it like this here. Add all the seasonings, mix it up. Just make sure you're not using your hands to touch this pork since you washed it with the vinegar, okay? That's very important. So we have our jar there that we're gonna marinate this in. And Molly has just washed that out with some vinegar as well to make sure that's clean in there. Although it has been washed before. And this here, unlike some of those jars that you see for marinating, this has a, a rubber insert in there so it's going to do the same job as the ones 
Molly's gonna start to marinate the pork here. So we're gonna add our salt there, or four teaspoons of salt. And that's all the seasonings we have blended there, including the garlic, the three large heads of garlic. You need a lot of garlic for this here. So that's it. So this is all mixed in here now. Okay guys, so we're gonna start adding this to the jar here now. And that's it there guys. See how colorful that looks there. That's a very happy pork. So now Molly's gonna add our vinegar there my friends. So you're gonna leave this to marinate for four days guys. And after your four days, you're gonna deal with this. We're gonna show you the rest of the process. But you want your vinegar to be above the level of the pork because it's gonna evaporate in that four days. So you wanna cater for the evaporation. All right? So there you go, that should be it up. And look at that, look how pretty this pork looks. So Molly is putting some plastic wrap there just to help the ceiling. So now we're gonna go put this aside in a cool place and leave this to marinate for four days, okay? So that's it guys, see you in four days time. Okay my friends, we have let this marinated pork here sit for four days. And now we are ready to continue with our garlic pork here my friends. Christmas garlic pork, another recipe for Christmas here for you guys. So let's get started with this here. So Molly is going to strain this out in this pot here, which is going to make it easier for us to get out of there. So you're just going to strain this off like this here guys, and then we're going to proceed to fry this. So you're not adding any oil to your pan. The idea of cooking this garlic pork is for it to cook it its own fat. So once that vinegar has evaporated and dried out there, it's gonna start releasing the fat from the pork which is gonna cook in, fry in. So we're gonna cover that, let it do its thing. Okay guys, so it's been a few minutes here and as you can see how much water this has uh, released here. So keep this covered guys and make sure you have your fan on because it's, there's a high vinegary smell to this here. Okay so we're gonna do another check on this here and it'll start to evaporate the liquid there. It's a lot less liquid here now. So we're getting there, we're getting there. Our Christmas pork is coming up soon. All I want for Christmas is my garlic pork, my garlic pork. Okay guys, so with this amount of liquid here, soon this is going to start frying in its oil. So at this point you want to leave this open. You don't want to cover this anymore. So if you look closely there now guys, you're going to see that all the vinegar is gone. There is only fat in there now, the oil from the fat of the pork. So this is what you have to fry this in now. So this is starting to get some color here guys as you can see. And we are close to finish here now. So we are going to let this fry some more. Okay guys, so that's it for our pork here. Our pork is cooked through and it's fried and it's done. So our garlic pork is ready. So here it is guys, our Guyanese garlic pork, a Christmas, another Christmas tradition. And this is looking good. 
So that's it there guys. So if you like this recipe, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, please click the bell next to the subscribe button so you get instant notifications. Please share this video also. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.